Hello everybody, today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2022 F-150 STX. This one's pretty cool because it's outfitted by Ford Performance as you will very soon see. So starting off up front with the STX package, you are going to get the halogen and incandescent headlights and fog lights. Um, black style grille, color match, uh, tow recovery hooks. Your spoiler or your valence I should say has actually been removed and replaced with a all metal skid plate from Ford Performance. Coming around to the side, got these really aggressive general uh, grabber tires and they are a 275-75 R18. Coming up top, we do have these rigid light pods, again offered from Ford Performance. Here's your F-150 Ford Performance badging. Standard blacked out mirrors with the mirror mounted cameras. This one is a uh, extended cab. It's not the full four doors. A little bit better uh, ground clearance, approach and departure angles, and obviously a shorter wheelbase. Here's your Ford Bilstein suspension. You got your blacked out STX 4x4 Ford Performance badging. Incandescent tail lamps with blind spot monitoring right here. Color matched bumper with parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion. Dual black tipped exhaust. You have your standard seven pin and other trailer connector right here. F-150 is gonna be stamped into the tailgate. You have an LED light right here and your backup camera is right there. This truck looks absolutely amazing. This is a really, really pretty blue as well. Um, pretty positive this guy has the uh, 5.0 Coyote V8. It does have a window sticker, but it's just a generic window sticker. It doesn't really give much information about this specific truck because it's just a demo truck. It's not for sale, so there is no prices on it. Right over here, we have your capless fuel fill port. Up top, we got your third brake light and cargo camera. And then again, uh, this does not have the four full doors, so it is going to be slightly better off-road. Let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, so starting off in the interior on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls, all of your mirror controls, your lock and unlock buttons, your mirror spotter lights for the driver and passenger, Right here we have your power plug for the bed of the truck. Under that we have your cargo camera light. Rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle. Dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. And then your electronic parking brake. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we got your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right. Beautiful LCD screen in the middle. Coming back to the steering wheel, it is a rubberized steering wheel mild bolsters at 10 and 2. All of your cruise control buttons are going to be right here including your lane keep assist button. Steering wheel mounted audio controls are right here. Over on this side we have the control buttons for the center LCD display as well as your um, call buttons and forward and back track buttons. Storage trays up top. Right above the touch screen we have the automatic start stop on off. It is on by default. We have the toggle for your cameras, hazard light buttons, traction control off. That brings us to the touchscreen display. It is the smaller one being the STX, but still very stout. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as navigation. You also have all the settings you can monitor through here as well and features of the vehicle. This guy does have the Pro Trailer Backup. Being the STX, it does have a key. There is no push button start. All the physical radio buttons are gonna be right here for your audio. Under that, we have a single zone climate control, integrated trailer brake controller over here, your push button transfer case, and then you have your rotary dial drive mode button, and then your um, rear locking diff button, which stays locked up until 15 miles an hour, I believe. We have a USB-C and USB port, as well as a storage tray, and a business card holder. 
pen storage, two cup holders, as well as some more storage with a little hidden storage tray underneath. I do like this a lot. I think all trucks should have the standard column shifter like this. I don't like the sport style shifter or the rotary dial all that much. Coming over to the armrest, it does have storage in it with a removable storage tray. And there is also uh, USBs down in there as well with a cutout right here for cord management. Really nice cloth seats in this truck. This guy does have two glove boxes, first one being right here, next one being right here. It is LED lit. Coming up top to the vanity, it is non-lit for passenger and there is no vanity for the driver. Up top we got a glasses storage, your dome map lights, and then your standard auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, I really do like this truck. I think in terms of the big three, uh, you know, uh, FCA or Stellantis, uh, General Motors and Ford, I think the STX is probably the best bang for your buck. I know you can get some of the cheaper, you know, like let's say a Ram Bighorn uh, with some upgraded features. You're still going to be paying more. I think Ford has done a really good job with the STX offering. With that being said, let's take a quick look at the back seats. In order to have access to the back seats, you actually have to come open the door, pull this, and then you can have access to the back seats. It is nice that this door opens all the way to the back like that. You do have uh, under seat capabilities if you would like. I'm way too big to fit in here, but we do have rear air conditioning vents, 12 volt outlet, USB, USB-C, and 115 volt, 400 watt power outlet back there, as well as two cup holders right here. This is a very, very sweet truck. And I did neglect to mention this thing is slightly lifted. So getting in was just a little bit more difficult because there was no running boards. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and smash that like button. It does greatly help with the algorithm. Also, if you want to keep up with Chicago Auto Show content, please consider subscribing to the channel and be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.